Acceleration is everything. But what has the best acceleration? What can leave the line faster than a greased up pig running away from a butcher? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Mike. This is my top 10 countdown for useful cars with the highest mid-range acceleration in top drives. If you want to know more about MRA, then find my tips video about car acceleration and watch that. It's laid out plain and simple in there. Quick warning, all my top 10 videos are my opinion. This isn't a true list of the cars with the highest MRA numbers. That would change regularly and doesn't read that interestingly. This list has been skewed toward useful or surprising cars. Also, if I don't own it, it won't be in the list. It's got to be in my garage to qualify for the top 10. All cars in the top 10 have over 100 MRA. The cars I've left out have been left out for a reason. Normally they're duplicate similar car to another car that already is in the countdown, or they just don't give as much value as another car in my top 10. Don't sweat it, it's just for fun. Anyway, let's get to it. In 10th place on the countdown is the ultra rare Holden Effigy. It has 104 MRA and is arguably the most beautiful car in the top 10 today. It's only 20 years old, but has the stylings of an American car 50 years older. The reality is, it's from Australia and it is a key car from the Savannah Way update. It's a stunningly beautiful car. In contrast, my ninth place goes to the ugly RQ65 Ultra Rare Alfa Romeo Isima. Although it has 112 MRA, if you owned one, you'd soon get sick of the door springing up and hitting you in the face every time you went to drive it. Put the looks aside, along with the fact it's the only non-Italian Alfa, this car is a great drag car. Solidly in 8th is the RQ89 TVR Cerbera Speed 12. This car has been in the game for a while now, but I just picked it up recently. I love it. It's got 112 MRA and a useful top speed. It's just a great car. 7th position is another Australian car. The RQ88 Ford Falcon doesn't look like a drag specialist, but it really is. It has 122 MRA, and for me, it's been a very useful car over the last year. This car in sixth place will surprise you. In sixth, I've put the epic RQ75 Radical Club Sport. It's a great car on twisty tracks. It's light, it's nimble, it's useful, but it's also a short drag beast. With MRA of 109 and a low top speed, this car is very impressive on the short drag tracks. It's a great all-rounder, brilliantly useful car to own in top drives. Fifth place is the RQ96 Koenigsegg Jesko Attack. Really, it's all the high top speed Koenigseggs. There's a few of them all around the 120 MRA mark, all great cars. This one, however, is the one I own, so consider it the poster child for all of them. It's a great car, great MRA, high 300 plus top speed, good handling, tiny 0-60 time, possibly should be higher in my top 10. However, it had to give way to one of my favourite cars at the moment. In fourth is the cool looking RQ99 Rimac Concept S. I think it's a great car. I think it's got so much to give. Similar to the Lotus Evia, it has four wheel drive alongside some great stats. Its MRA is 125. Like the gang of Koenigseggs, in third place goes to the three Hennessys. My best Hennessy is the Venom F5 with 127 MRA. Massive top speed and very impressive 0-60 and good handling stats. The Hennessy is a real crucial car in the game. Runner-up in second place is the relatively new to the game Lancia D50. It has 122 MRA for an RQ59 Ultra Rare. This makes it unique in top drives. The other thing you need when you have great MRA is a high top speed and this Lancia does not let us down with a top speed of 200 miles an hour. It's a very special car from the mid 1950s. And the top position in my top 10 highest MRA cars goes to the dominant Lotus Evia at RQ100. It's no surprise to anyone, I love this car. It's just unbelievable when it comes to acceleration. Depending on your upgrading, it can get to over 150 MRA. 
it's just a drag beast. It is the standard to measure all other drag cars by. That's it. Let me know what you think of my top 10. Do me a favour, write your favourite drag car in the comments below. It'll be interesting to know your opinion. Thanks for watching. Now you know the drill. You've got to the count of 10, then I'm releasing the hounds. 10, 9, 8, 7, I'm not waiting. You should run. Release the hounds!